the jewel of the art. Shut him down! You're finished! You're finished! Armor won't save you! Here I come! Close the shot! Did you see? Sure did. You were... Checking out Kisara from behind. Well, no, I wasn't! We did it. We've reached the top of the mountain. <sighs> About damn time. My knees are singing symphonies over here. Look, there it is. That's it. That's Pelegion, the seat of Voron's power. So that's where Shion's being held? Most likely. Most likely? That is what I said, yes. Pelegion's still our best lead. So that's where we go, right? Any advice before we head in there? No. No? In the ancient tongue, Ganeth Heros means Fortress of Nought. Though I fail to see what insight that nugget of trivia holds. I guess I just thought you might have something we could use. Since Volron became Lord, the only thing this realm has been known for is its Shroud of Secrecy. It is Volron's stronghold. All else is incidental. Just keep in mind that you can't be too careful inside. Speaking of which, just how are all of us planning to get inside, exactly? It's not like there are any secret passages. We've come this far. If there's no other way in, I guess we'll just have to use the front gate. Volron told us to come find him, which means he's expecting us. Let's do this the old-fashioned way. Land of water or no, this place has a most curious atmosphere. I'd be taking a dip in it if the circumstances were better. Sorry, but we have to push through for now. Shion is waiting. Yeah, I hear ya. A soak can wait. I swear I've seen that castle somewhere before. All right. I remember seeing it from the cliffs in Calaglia, across the sea. You mean Bullron's castle? Yeah, that must have been it. Geographically, it would make sense. It's most certainly large enough to be seen from afar. Back then, I had Shion and Zephyr with me. Well, we haven't lost Shion. We can still get her back, you know. That's right. I won't let Volron take her away from us.
This looks perfect. Guaranteed to hit the spot. Rinwell, mind if we chat a little? You're still awake? I've always been something of a night owl. Ever since back when I was someone's property. Turning in for the night only made the next day come quicker. I wasn't in any great rush. Ah, uh, sorry. What about yourself? Care to share something from before I knew you? You were part of a mage clan, right? Must have been handy being able to rely on magic for everything. Hardly. In fact, not at all. Magic's not so special when you're not allowed to use it. Always scared of who might be watching? Right. Sorry about that. I guess I've read too many fairy tales. We were still made to study it every day. It doesn't make any sense if you think about it, studying the very thing you're being persecuted for. But that's what we did, just like our parents and their parents before them. Honestly, I don't even know how far back it goes. The memory serves. Mages have been the stuff of legend for ages. Even as far back as three centuries ago, they were myths. Your people were persecuted even before the Renans got here. Yeah, the more I think about it, the less it makes sense, though. I mean, it was astral arts that let the Renans dominate Dana, right? Why didn't mages end up being the rulers of Dana, then? Maybe they tried, but they just didn't have the numbers. Or maybe domination just wasn't something they were interested in. Have you ever considered it might have been something like that? I guess I haven't. I wonder why magic alone attracted the attention it did. Swords can be just as lethal in the right hands. Why not ban them? My best guess? Swordsmanship can be learned by anyone. Magic's more of an exclusive club. So, you either have the gift or you don't. When something's not easily obtainable, it's hard to comprehend. People are scared of what they don't understand. And fear leads to persecution. So the problem's not magic. It could just as easily have been anything. Yeah. Hoodle, let me know if you sense anything. I want to go back to bed. Shion to get mad at us for dragging our feet. Alfin? She's the one that's kept us on track. Picked me up when I was down. Sure. I just thought she'd always be there. Nothing bad's happened to Xion. Keep those thoughts to yourself, Rinwell. Everyone's anxious enough as it is. S sorry It's just... I can't seem to stop thinking about it. What do you think it is that Volron wanted with her anyway? Going by what he said back on Almadria's ship, it would appear his primary target is Alfin. Though, it's likely he hasn't forgotten the blow he sustained at Xion's hand either. That might even be what ignited his interest. Yeah, did you see the way he reacted? It was like he was enjoying every moment. Even his pain at Xion's thorns. Oh, that guy's just creepy. Let's just hope he's keeping his perverted tendencies in check. What? Law? Don't say things like that! It's not like we weren't all thinking it. That's still no reason to... All right, you two. Now that's enough already. Alfin shouldn't have to grit his teeth while he listens to you. Oh. Uh, sorry. <sighs> Let's 
No choice. Here I come. I'm on it. This one's mine. First strike. Clear track. I'm not the only one. can resist me. That's it. Tiger Blade. Now. Right. Rickwell. Frozen. Hammer. Nicely done. All thanks to you. Breaking star. I'll take this. You're finished. Look sharp. Damn it. Too fast. Lightning or Stand back. Stand yeah. Pick it up. I'm not done. Frozen. Hammer. Our weapons are the strength of our mutual respect. The strength of never backing down from a challenge. The strength of never giving up on our dreams. The weakness of a limited vocabulary. Be the one to block next time? Huh? Uh, nah, not really my thing. This should be easy. You picked the wrong one. I'll be saving Take this one. Bet that, that shell's hiding Whoa. something safe. Thunderfield! Take this! Time to go! Right. Right. I'll run you through! Now! Demon descend! Flashing fang! Easy! Way to go! Not Not 
Like we're gonna lose to small fry. Strength. You could say that again. now. Great. I'll let you cook then. Wait, what? Be 
You want to try holding it? Ugh. How do you even walk with this thing? Watch this! You're mine! Eagle of Frost! 
to regroup and try again later. My training is paying off. should be able to cook here. Did we really just spend that much money? Castle's even larger once you get close to it. What's that shining thing up top? A spirit vessel? It feels creepy, like it's watching over everything. You think he knows we're here? We'd best assume as much, yes. What we have to do is simple. Just beat Volron and rescue Shion. That's it. Try not to work yourself up too much. We have a lot of city and castle yet to traverse. Done. This is sure to give the others some much needed energy. I'll see you again tomorrow. All right, guys. Ready to go?
guess I misread the landing. We should be able to cook here. We're almost there, guys. Don't let your guard down. <laughs> I'm excited just thinking about us barging through the... Huh. Are you Alfin and his companions? Why would you think that? You are the only one scheduled to arrive, and there are no unscheduled arrivals in Ganaperos. So I'll ask again, are you Alfin and his companions? We are. Then pass. 
Lord Voron is expecting you at Castle Del Faris. Well, suppose it's rather nice of them to roll out the red carpet for us. <laughs> so we're supposed to meet him in there? What do we do now? Let's see how things look around the city first. Then we'll make our way to the castle. Not a slave in sight. Where is everyone? There aren't even any soldiers. Something feels off. I don't like it. Like the fact that the enemy could ambush us at any moment? Yeah, not crazy about that either. No, not that. Something else. That must be Volron's castle up ahead. I suppose we just walk right up to it then? That's what the guard from before said. Now, if we only knew where they were keeping Xion, we could try to... That's it! Hmm? That weird feeling. It's not just that the city is empty. It feels like no one lives here at all. Now that you mention it, it does feel strangely... artificial. Think maybe it's a district just for the Renans alone? With all this open space? Seems unlikely. about they were danins right that wasn't normal wait you don't think it could have been the fruit of helgen do you no they seem too docile what about astral energy could you sense any coming from them no and i'm pretty sure i could tell if it was if not that though then what speaking of which it didn't look like there was anyone guarding them either They were headed for the castle. I have a bad feeling about those boats. I get what you mean. It didn't feel like those folks are just commuting to work. The waterway they're floating on appears to lead to Del Faris Castle. If we follow it, we may look...
learn more about what's taking. Place here. So, any ideas what the deal was with that boatload of weirdos? Your guess is as good as mine. They looked like Dan and slaves, but beyond that... This city is grander and more beautiful than any other we've been to, yet... I know what you mean. From the architecture right down to the people, something feels off somehow. I've long maintained one can glean a lot about a ruler from their city. Considering how unsettling this place is, I'd say I wasn't far off the mark. Despite its surface layer of majesty, walking around inside, it feels more like a hollowed-out ruin. I say we follow after that boat. If we're lucky, it might be in the mood to give us some answers. <laughs> <laughs> 